Hello. So this is just gonna be like a nice little 30 minute stretch foam roll uh, video for you. So grab your foam roller, grab a mat, and let's make our way down to the ground. We are gonna start with child's pose to loosen up that lower back. I like to use my foam roller. So knees are gonna be hip width apart. The wider our knees are, the more, the more we can kind of sit back into those hips. I'm gonna push my hips back. Let my head sink down, thumbs up on that foam roller, letting my head sink down to the ground. We're just gonna hold this for about 30 to 40 seconds. Taking deep breaths. Slowly letting yourself sink down a little bit more. Slowly bring those arms back in. Coming on up, press that foam roller out to the side. We're gonna do a little T-spine rotation here. So I'm gonna kind of show you from an angle. Knees under those hips hands underneath those shoulders. I'm gonna open up with that left hand, look up at it, and I'm gonna weave it down underneath my right side. Holding down here, trying to drop that shoulder down to the ground. We're gonna do five on this side. Round three. One more, looking up at that, up at those left fingers. Weaving that hand down. Good, coming back up. Let's go to the other side. So looking up with up at my right hand, nice little stretch through my chest. Weaving that hand down, trying to drop that right shoulder to the ground. We're doing five on this side as well. We're on two. Each time trying to drop that shoulder a little bit lower. One more, last one. Looking up at that right hand, weaving it down underneath that left side. Good, coming on up. Coming back into that child's pose one more time, taking those hips out wide. Pushing those hips back. You can do a little bit of rock from side to side. Thumbs up, letting that head sink down. With our hands being up on our foam roller, we should feel a nice stretch from the back of our arm down our lats. Good. Coming on up. You can use that foam roller if you would like. We're going into half kneeling. I'm pushing my Left hip forward, leaning on in, right foot's up. And I'm going to take my right hand and lean on over to my left side. You don't need to use your foam roller, but you can. Keep your balance. I'm gonna stretch down here. Get right arm down. Now we're gonna reach over to the left, to the right with our left arm. We should feel that all down the side of our obliques. Switch sides. We're dropping that right knee down, left knee's coming up, pushing those hips forward, 
Left hand's going up, leaning over to the right. Work on your breathing. Good. Put that left arm down, taking that right arm up, reaching on over that left side. You should feel this all the way down to that hip flexor. You can balance either with your foam roller on your leg. Bring that arm down. Keeping that right knee on the ground, we're gonna pop that left leg out to the side. Toe is gonna be up. I'm going to push my hips back towards the wall, working my way down so my butt is getting closer to my heel. Feel a nice stretch in those adductors. Try to keep a flat back as we push those hips back. Sit down deeper. You can rotate that toe. Finding that spot that feels good for you. About 10 more seconds. Slowly pressing our hands back up if our arms are out, if our forearms are on the ground. Bring those hips up so our up so our butt is not touching our heel anymore. Bring that left leg in. Let's kick that right leg up to the side. Same thing. Toe up or toe forward, your choice. Slowly lowering back down to that heel or to a position that is comfortable. Holding our body up. And then as we feel comfortable with our deep breaths, lowering ourselves down onto our forearms. Nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. do this you can either be you can either have both your quads on that foam roller at the same time or you can kind of cross your leg and put more pressure so I'm gonna focus I'm gonna show you first with both so all I'm doing is I'm keeping my hips tucked because I don't want a big arch in that back keep those hips tucked and I'm slowly gonna roll from about an inch above my knee cap all the way up to that hip flexor you want to move about two to three seconds at a time. So a lot of times I see people roll very quickly. When we roll quickly, that doesn't do anything for our muscles. So we want to make sure that we are slowly moving through. If having your legs on, both your legs on, you can cross and that's going to add a little extra pressure. But also remember you have to do the other side if you're doing it single, single leg. Good. Find those knots, nice deep breath, slowly letting that body relax into it, relax into that foam roller. We want to keep that core nice and tight. Try to keep as flat a back as we can. Good. Let's press ourselves on up. We're gonna we are gonna now roll out our TFL. So your IT band is usually what you know that runs down the side. Your TFL runs right behind it. So we're gonna be on the side. This is most likely gonna hurt, and that's okay. Um, 
Control your pressure how you need to. Personally, if I am on my right leg, I like to cross my left leg on top, give a little bit of support. My hands are my other, thing of, um, other spot of support. I'm gonna go from about my hip bone that sticks out, or my little, little bone over here, and then you're gonna go all the way down to about the same spot you were going for your quads. Slowly moving, finding the position in the spot that is the most tight. And when you find that, we're relaxing. Once again, we're moving two to three seconds at a time, nice and slow. this may feel uncomfortable but as soon as we get off the foam roller you are gonna feel better Quad, slowly press yourself off and switch on over to that other leg so now our left leg is down right legs over top In through your nose, out through your mouth. I found a deep knot right there. So I'm going to hold here, but keep moving up and down your knee, up to your hip, so you can find that spot. Slowly just let that body relax into it. Good. Slowly make your way off. We're going to make our way onto our back now. I like to use my foam roller here. You don't have to. If you are going to use your foam roller though, Make sure that it's in the right position. A lot of times when I have people do this, your lower back starts to hurt because there's too much of an arch. Um, so you're gonna have this foam roller kind of up around those two dimples that are in the back of your back. So I'm gonna put my butt up on here. I'm gonna rock on back. And it's kind of at the top of my leggings this is where mine is. And I'm gonna bring both my knees to my chest. You should feel a nice release in that lower back area. You can open those arms up or you can give a nice little hug. Taking some deep breaths, getting all that stress out of that lower back that we've probably been hanging on to for the last nine months. You're gonna hang on to that right knee. You're gonna lift your left leg up in the air. You're gonna pull that toe back towards you. And now we're gonna slowly lower. So here's where I find people kind of get some of that lower back pain because they let their back just arch around. So I want us to keep a nice tight core. I'm gonna slowly lower that left leg. So now I'm feeling a nice stretch in my hip flexor, but also a nice release in the right side of my back. If your heel can touch the ground, that is awesome. Depending on the day, depends on if mine can touch. You're gonna engage your core, you're gonna tighten your hip flexor, and you're gonna bring that left leg back up. Left knee comes in, right leg goes out. Pull that right toe back towards us. Slowly lower that right leg. And that core nice and tight, not letting that back arch. 
You're now gonna feel that nice stretch in that hip flexor on that right side and a release on the left side of that lower back. Putting your chest up. We're going to extend that left leg one more time. Pull that toe into your body. Grab the right knee. Keep it in nice and tight. We're slowly lowering that left leg. together and then I'm gonna let my legs open up like I'm doing the butterfly. So remembering we want we don't want to arch, we're gonna keep everything nice and tight through here and we want to open those legs up. You'll start to feel a nice stretch in our adductors. Take some deep breaths here. We're gonna take three nice and big deep breaths in through your nose. your mouth and through your nose and out through your mouth and one more and through your nose and out through your mouth bring those legs on up you're going to push up into a blue fridge and you're going to roll that foam roller out from underneath you now that we are here I'm going to rotate my pelvis so that my lower back is pressed into the ground. My feet kind of look like I'm in a blue bridge right now. But instead of pressing up, we're going to take our arms up above us. We're going to pull our shoulders back and down. You're giving me the thumbs up. So now I'm going to take my arms and lower back behind us, trying not to shrug, trying to touch that ground and also keep that lower back pressed into the ground. And we're gonna come up. So we just did our eye. Now I'm gonna do a 45 degree angle on my thumbs up. I'm gonna go out and now I'm in a Y position. Coming up. Now I'm gonna go out into a T. Now when I'm in this T, I'm not gonna bring my hands up. I'm gonna bring my arms down to the side. And then I'm gonna work up all the way back up like I'm doing snow angels. Once I am back up to the top, I'm gonna point my thumbs down to the ground and do an I, bring my hands back up. Now I'm back in, I'm now I'm reset in that I position. So we're gonna go I, all the way back up, 45 degree angle. Y, like you're doing the YMCA, all the way back up. Out to a T, hands go down to our side, down by our hips. We're opening up, doing some snow angels, rotating our hands so our thumbs are touching, bringing those arms back up. We're gonna go one more time through. So now we're ready for that eye position. Drop those arms back behind us. Eye coming up. 45 degree angle, 
Y. Coming back up. Last one, going out to a T. Drop those hands down towards our hips. Bring those arms all the way up. And then back up to our eye. Good. We're gonna grab that foam roller. You're gonna roll up to your side. I'm gonna lay on my left arm. My right leg, my knee and my foot are gonna be on the foam roller. I'm gonna keep a flat back. And I'm going to take my right hand, put it on over, over myself. So my hand and my palm are facing, touching the ground. And then I'm gonna open up. Feel a nice little stretch, looking over at my hand as I open. And then close. We're gonna do five of these, that's one. That's three. That's four. One more. Remember to keep your knee and your foot on that foam roller. Don't let it lift. Good. Coming on back. Let's push on over to the other side. Or you can just turn on over. So now I'm laying on my right side. My right, my left foot, and my left knee are going to stay connected to that foam roller the whole time. I'm going to open and look. Just feel a nice stretch in that chest. you kind of from an angle here. So my back foot, knee, and hip are at 90. My front knee and hip and foot are at 90. Right here, this may be enough for that right hip. This may be your hips are tight. This may be plenty. If not, we're going to lean forward, making sure we're not out or in. I'm taking the middle of my chest all the way down or as far as I can down to my right knee, keeping a flat back so we're not arching. I'm gonna place my hands in a place that is comfortable. Slowly lower until you feel that little sweet spot. So we want it to be a nice good stretch, but it should never be painful. here with each deep breath trying to lower a little bit closer to that knee if your hip and your body is allowing it slowly bring yourself on up we have two options you can either just flip around or you can lock those heels in and you can rotate at the hips so you guys can see me better I'm just gonna flip so back knee hip and foot are at 90, front knee, hip, and foot are at 90. Same thing, this may be enough for that left hip. If it is not, place those hands, take a few deep breaths, and slowly lower your body in, straight down into that knee. Take a deep breath. 
breath and slowly lower yourself down a little bit further. I know my left hip is tighter, so I usually cannot go down as far as I can on my right side. Slowly bring yourself on up. So we have two options here. We can either do a standing stretch um, or we can do a seated stretch. I'm gonna show you the seated stretch um, and then I'll show you the standing stretch after. But you're gonna take a seat on your foam roller. Left leg can do whatever you'd like. Right leg is going to be out with a slight bend in that knee. I like to just tuck it in and then I'm gonna lean on forward. If you are doing this standing, Slight bend in this leg, pop in that right leg out. Same concept. I prefer seated. I'm just gonna pop that left leg in, slight bend in that right leg, leaning on forward with a flat back, trying to pull that toe back towards me, and then I can push and pull. You feel a nice little stretch in the back of that leg. switch on over to the other side. So my right leg's tucked, slight bend in my left leg, leaning on over, point and flex. Uh, the last one we're gonna do, this is my favorite, we're gonna just end in a butterfly. So. Either end with a butterfly on the ground. I prefer to do it on the foam roller because then I can roll that foam roller into my heels a little bit and I can feel a little bit um, greater of a groin stretch. Um, choose what is best for you. Don't over stretch, especially if you're not a big stretcher. Take your time, take your deep breaths. So, feet are coming into my chest or <laughs> into my groin area. I'm sitting up straight. I'm on my foam roller and I'm going to slowly roll my hips forward on the foam roller. And then I'm just gonna sit here. Sitting up straight. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this quick little stretch video. Um, remember, flexibility and mobility is really important for our everyday life and just for any sort of exercising that we do. Overuse, if you're a big cycler or you're a big runner or you're a big lifter, no matter what your form of exercise is, using the same muscles and not stretching them out or rolling them out can lead to tightness, can lead to injury, can lead to a lot of things. So take some time to stretch and work on your flexibility and mobility this week. Enjoy.